All right, uh, I'm going to do an update on the aquaponics system. Uh, first thing I'd like to say is uh, anybody who watches this or whatever, if you want to see more updates or whatever, just I mean, just send me a send me a comment or uh, you know, a question if you got anything like that. But uh, tell me how I'm doing. If you if you're doing something similar to this and you got any suggestions or uh, tips for me, go ahead and you know shoot them my way. I like to hear it. So. Um, Alright, I'll get into it. Um, as you know from the videos, uh, before this I had um, problems with that uh, fiber board um, basically getting wet, the moisture getting in there and, and getting mold on there. So um, this is what I'm going with now and it's working great so far. These are just uh, pieces of uh, Trex board that, I, that I, I found free in the storage unit that I had um, and I brought them with me. So. Uh, but anyway, and then uh, I probably showed this on the last video, but it's been a while since I updated. I kind of forgot. But anyway, the the pipes just the drain pipes just come right down through there and uh, drain right back into the tank. And what I did add since the last video was um, I added another ball valve with a T right be right before it goes into the grow bed. And then I've got I've got it set up where it's got a little manifold there and it's got you know four drilled holes in it so that it can kind of aerate the tank at the same time before I had a, a filter right here which is now right here on this other tank and I'll show you the other tank in a minute but um and so that was kind of cycling the tank so anyway now I've got aeration constant aeration and then obviously I've got aeration whenever that drains whenever the beds drain because I've got I don't know if you can see it Right there in the center of the screen, right there, is holes. I, I drill those holes on an angle so that whenever the bed drain, it, it draws air into the into the pipe, the drain pipe as well, and it shoots it back into the water, and that's worked great so far. So um, tanks are about 70, 70 degrees right now. So it's getting it's getting a little bit warmer. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do in the summertime when it gets in my garage. It gets like I don't know like 100 degrees so we'll, we'll see what happens I, I might have to figure something out get an attic attic vent or something like that to keep the temps down but uh, anyway uh, I guess I'll show you uh, I guess I'll show you the uh, new additions to the aquaponics there are eight catfish in here I caught these at uh, Lake Arcadia in Edmond Oklahoma in case you're wondering and uh, I got eight of them in there. There's one channel cat and the rest of them are blue cats, just like this guy. But um, they, this one's a little, this is a smaller one. He's only probably about, I don't know, eight, nine inches. But I got several in there that are, you know, 10, 11 uh, inches. So, and they're all, it's kind of weird. They're all huddled up like on top of each other in the, in the back corner there. So I'm still kind of figuring out, kind of seeing their habits and seeing what, what they're all about but I'm actually going to transfer these over to the main tank because this tank does nothing right now it's just on its own little filtration I'm just kind of letting them you know get used to the the whole tank idea before I throw them into the aquaponics but um, I'm definitely going to be doing that soon I'll just have to think about when's a good time to do it a um, little update on the seedlings and everything that I had going on up here as you can see I have a lot less than I did before um, a couple hours ago I just put everything out into the garden I'm actually going to do a garden video, uh, garden journal, if you will, um, along with my aquaponics journal. So this spring and this summer, you know, I'll, I'll be I'll be uh, trying to try and do some organic gardening. So that'll be interesting. Um, so I, you guys can you know subscribe and you know keep updated with all my all my gardening projects and all my projects in general. I've got I've got tons of stuff going. Actually, let me show you that right now since I got this right next to me um, these are potatoes in a bucket and that's about those things are about seven seven inches long and they've only been sprouted up out of the ground for a couple days now well I say that but every time they come up I bury them and bury them again and after I buried them last time they just shot up like like nobody's business almost overnight and there's I did five in each bucket and you can see there's um, three seed potatoes there and then just to the left there's one and on the right there's one and same thing for this one so I've got two two buckets and I'm hoping to get 
Uh, and of course, I, you know, it's, it's long overdue for me to fill those back up with dirt. But I was kind of waiting for the other ones to kind of catch up a little bit. Those, um, as you can see, those are way out in front of everything else. But anyway, I'm hoping to get, um, you know, two, maybe three pounds if I'm lucky. But, you know, two pounds, I'd be happy with two pounds um, of potatoes from that. So that's an interesting project there. Um, let me show you this. This is a husky, husky red cherry tomato. Or husky cherry red, same thing. Um, and what I've done, this one had three. I bought this one because it had three on it. And what I've done is I've left one, the healthy, one of the healthier ones on there. Um, and I actually need to trim some of these, uh, some of these fan leaves off because they're not really doing anything. Um, but they're kind of just shading these lower stems. What I did is I took clones off of these two right here, and um, I'll show you those right now. They're these guys. Okay, this one, as you can see, I took these clones um, two, I think yesterday, no, two days ago. And they're, as you can see, the leaves are limp. But, I mean, they're all still green and there's no yellowing. And there'll probably be some more wilting to come, but um, overall not bad, so, uh, and they should take. I've, I've done this before several times, many times, and it's always worked. There's two clones right back there, and they're fully rooted, and they're just waiting to get a little bit taller before they go in the garden. So, what I did was I got that one plant, and I already have three plants growing out of that. But if you can see closely here, if I zoom in, well, I'm not gonna zoom in, but you can see that there are new plants going out of these um, these crotches where the, where the leaf, uh, and the stem meat, there's these little uh, new plants growing. That's all they are, they're just new plants. And so I've got, I think, seven growing out there, and I've, I just cut those two days ago, and you can see the growth. And the reason they're growing so fast is because of the root system that's already established inside of the pot. And um, they're, it's just pushing out new growth like crazy. So as soon as those are about two inches long, or well, preferably three inches, three to six inches, but I don't, you know, I'm kind of impatient. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, I'll take some more clones and then and then I'll throw this one out in the garden, cut these off, and then throw those uh, throw that out in the garden, and uh, I'll have a bunch of new plants ready to, ready to go. So that's another project, and uh, I'll give you a quick update on the rest of the garden or the rest of the aquaponics. Um, everything is just growing steadily. Um, this is a new addition here. That's cucumbers, and the reason I put them over here is because I'm going to have, as you can see, this light kind of overhangs to the left and I'm gonna have this empty empty space right here so I'll just I'll just let the cucumbers just kinda do their thing and vine out and uh, maybe trim them back a little bit to keep keep them down a little bit but um, they'll have all this space over here to just kinda get bushy and get crazy and I, I won't have to worry about them overtaking the entire the entire grow beds um, strawberries are you know pushing out new growth there at the, you can see the new green growth at the bottom so they're healthy, they're doing good. Um, beans, there's, there's the beans. I mean, they, they really do just take off. Once they, once they get established, their root system gets established, they just, they just go nuts. Um, everything else is just kind of on a steady pace right now. I'm still trying to get the system balanced. Um, and the radishes are doing really good now too. Um, these are roses that I cut off of um, a rose bush. And I'm trying to get those to, uh, these are knockout roses, so I'm trying to get these to, uh, to root. And that's, those have been there for over a week, and you, I mean, you can't see a sign of wilting on those. Well, this one actually is looking pretty pitiful, but this one, this one's done real good, so anyway. Um, but over here, you can see I've got bunching onions, and that's kind of a fun, fun thing. All I did was just sprinkle seeds in there, and I mean, they're everywhere. They're coming up like crazy, so that's gonna be fun. Have tons of bunch of onions. Um, what else? Um, I think that's it for now. So um, I'll do another update. Um, you know, in about a week or so. So subscribe. I have like I've had like how many videos already and, and no subscribers. So all you people that that I subscribe to, you know, do me a favor and subscribe. So um, you know, keep updated on my videos and comment and tell me how terrible I am at this or whatever, you know, just, uh, anyway, all right.